Aloha everyone. My name is Lenny Hall and I'm here to talk about joy. How to find joy in your life. It's the one thing that as we go through the stresses of life, we got to find ways to deal with it. I know that life can be stressful in so many ways, but we can't let life get us down. We need to find ways to deal with stress. So in spite of what happens to us, and we've had a lot happening in, in this past year, in the past several years, but it's nice to be able to find ways we can, which we can find joy, maybe some laughter, some things that help us to deal and to cope. There's an old ancient proverb that says, a cheerful heart is good like medicine. And that's something that is very, very true. It's actually very scientific. People have discovered that that is true. I know that sometimes it's hard. We deal with life at, at work, we come home. Sometimes uh, I like to my wife and I will talk about things that have gone on throughout the day and sometimes I'll just try to get her, give her a little joy and I'll just sing a song to her. Maybe I'll, the other day I sang, You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. And you know, just continuing on, and it actually made her feel good. She smiled and that helped to brighten her day a little bit. Now Abraham Lincoln is famous for a quote that says, most folks are as happy as they make up their minds to be. And that's very true as well. Basically what he's saying is you have a choice. If you want to let the stress get to you and you want to be down, it's your choice. Or you can choose to be more happy about it. And that's really up to you. So really what we need to do is change our mindset. So there's different ways in which we can do that. Um, one of the things that is very helpful is laughter. Laughter is something that is actually healthful for the body. There's a lot of scientific studies that were done, and I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about some of the benefits of laughter. Laughter actually helps to boost our immune system by increasing the production of anti-infection antibodies and T-cells in the blood that help protect us from infection. When you laugh, your brain releases endorphins it reduces stress, uh, I'm sorry, releases stress hormones, such as uh, well, different stress hormones, and it reduces the, uh, the blood, blood pressure and increases your circulation. So you get better circulation when you laugh. Laughter is also good for your heart and even your circulatory system, helping your blood to function more effectively by engaging um, these uh, endorphins. And when you're stressed or unhappy, your body actually has a, a reaction and it releases uh, bad chemicals into the body. And laughter actually reduces the release of those chemicals and helps your blood vessels actually improve in their structure. Laughter also decreases pain and helps in your memory. I know we could all use that sometimes, myself included. Laughter is also characteristically contagious. I saw a video once on YouTube where someone was in a bus and they just started laughing hysterically for no reason, just to test how people reacted. And what was interesting is the more they laughed, the more other people at first looked at them like they were weird, but then after a while, everyone started laughing. Laughter is something that can affect those around you, which is another reason why we should try to laugh more. Nobody wants to be around people who are depressing. There's another thing, sometimes we can get stressed with our work schedules, we're, we're busy with schedules and deadlines, and, and sometimes it's just nice to have ways of dealing with that. You know, when I first came to Hawaii several years ago, I worked for a particular company downtown for about three years, and I remember we would sit there at our desk and just do our work all day long. And there were other people who were sitting at their desks and just doing their work. And we might pass each other here or there, but I got to where I thought, you know what, I need a little more stimulation. So I would actually walk up to someone who I knew appreciated bad jokes because I became famous for bad jokes there. I'll call this person Pam because that's actually her name. <laughs> so Pam, if you're watching. But I would come up to Pam and I would tell her whatever joke came to mind. And she would always laugh. Regardless of how bad it was, it always made her laugh. So, I felt good knowing that I made her feel good. She laughed at my bad jokes, and I laughed at the fact that she laughed at my bad jokes. But every once in a while, I had something that were a little better, so that's good. But it helped us cope. It helped us get through the days. And, and Pam and I actually became good friends because of that. 
we had this bond where we just relaxed a little bit and just joked around. It helped us to get through some actually very stressful times. Another thing is sometimes we work at, at, at our jobs all day and we're very stressed. We come home, we turn on the news, and there's more bad news. There's more reasons for stress. Even the political strife in our country has been bringing everyone stress levels up. So it's nice to find ways to cope with that. Sing a song, tell a joke. And it's, it's nice to be able to find the humor at home. Sometimes our children can do the strangest things. You've seen, probably seen videos of people capturing their children doing funny things and they post it on Facebook or some other social media and everyone loves to watch it because we like it. It's something funny. It's something that gives us a break from the stresses of life. Also, sometimes our pets can be funny. I know uh, I used to have an African gray parrot. Now, I don't, I don't know if you're familiar with African gray parrots, but just to let you know, African gray parrots are about this big. They have the most complex brain structure of any bird, so they're very intelligent. Their intelligence has been compared to chimpanzees, dolphins, five-year-old children. They're very smart, but they have an emotional level of about a two or three-year-old, so they can be very demanding. But they're very smart. Not, not only are they smart, they're expert mimickers. I remember he would mimic the telephone, the microwave, the creaking doors, everything that he would mimic. I'd pour water in a glass, and before I'd pour it, he would already start going, just making the sounds. And I remember I'd have people come over to my house, and they would sit there with my phone, waiting for him to make a noise, and they would hit the noise, and then he would, do, he would repeat the sound, and they would say, it's incredible, how does he do that? But not only could he mimic sounds, he could mimic my voice. And that was where I could get in trouble. One time I was married and I was outside doing yard work. My wife was in, in the bedroom doing, doing some work and she went into the kitchen. She thought I was in the living room. And so she called out to me and she said, Lenny? And my bird in my voice said, yeah? Can you take the trash out? And what did he say? Okay, just like that. I had no clue what was going on. I'm outside the whole time talking with the neighbor and doing yard work. I came in about an hour later and I took my shoes off. I sat on the couch and I thought about the fact that I needed to take a shower. And my wife goes back into the kitchen again and she says, Lenny, what? You didn't take the trash out. I didn't know it needed to be taken out. Well, I asked you to. I said, I didn't hear you. You answered me. Now, how am I supposed to answer that one, right? So as we're going back and forth, and I'm explaining to her that I've been outside the whole time, pretty soon my bird starts laughing. And then she says, no, you were in the living room. I said, wait a minute. And then we realized my bird had talked for me. It wasn't the first time, but it would be the last time that that would happen because she said, from now on, if I ask you to do something, I'm gonna look at you because he may be able to sound like you, but he can't look like you. So that is sometimes Little things like that are stories I like to recall and tell people because it's funny. So go about your, your day and try to find ways to just relax, not let the stress get to you. Find ways to cope, find ways to find joy in life. And sometimes it really is as simple as telling a joke. So maybe I'll just tell you a couple of jokes and maybe you can borrow them. Now, I don't know who told this first one, it's a pirate joke, but I've told it to a lot of people and I just like it because it's, to me, it's still funny. But I like to go into character a little bit, so I like to kind of do a little accent. My wife can tell you I do accents all day long. Anyway, one day there is this pirate ship and he's floating along the sea. No, I'm sorry, and he comes into a port and the, the, the captain gets out and he goes into a, this bar, you know, a lot of, Jokes start off, a guy goes into a bar. Well, this, this pirate went into this bar and someone said, Arr, it's Captain Hook. What are you doing here? What happened to your leg? You got a wooden leg? And the captain said, well, one day I got thrown over the plank and I fell in the ocean and a shark came up and he bit me leg clean off. And now I got this wooden leg. Oh, what about your arm? You got a, you got a hook for an arm. Well, I was in a sword fight, and I was fighting someone, and he cut my arm clean off. And now I got this hook. Oh, that's horrible. But your eye, 
You got a patch over your eye. Well, I was up in the crow's nest one day, and I was looking around, and I look up in the, uh, in the, in the sky, and a seagull pooped in the eye. And I forgot I had this hook. So you can guess what happened there, right? Captain Hook lost his eye. Yeah. So sometimes you can get that one for free. I didn't write it. I don't know who did, but you can borrow it too. <laughs> but there's another joke that my wife loves for me to tell. And it's a story of these three little dogs. These three little male dogs were walking down the street and they looked across the street and they saw this gorgeous female poodle. I mean, she was all dolled up. She looked beautiful with her, with her curly hair and all washed and clean and a bow in her, in her hair. And these three male dogs ran across the street trying to be the first one to get there so they could talk to her. Well, they all got there at the, at the same time. So the female dog, she looks at them and she says, I tell you what, the first one that can use the words liver and cheese in a complete imaginative sentence can go out with me. So the black Labrador is the first one. He pushed the other two aside and he said, uh, I love liver and cheese. And she said, that showed no imagination whatsoever. Next. So the next dog was a Labrador Retriever, and he didn't know what to say. So he just said, uh, I hate liver and cheese. Well, that's as bad as the lab's response, said the poodle. So what about you, little guy? The little guy was a Taco Bell Chihuahua. He may be small in stature, but he was very wise. He just looked at, looked at the female poodle and gave her a sly wink. And then he looked at the other dogs and he said, Liver alone, cheese mine. <laughs> yes, using the words liver and cheese in a complete imaginative sentence. So you see, sometimes these little jokes, I know they may not have been the best ones, but sometimes these jokes are just a way to help us relax and to help us to find just a little bit more joy. Because you know what, in these times that we're living in, yeah, it's difficult. I know people say Hawaii is the happiest state of all 50 states has the happiest people. But the fact is, there's still a lot of people who are struggling. There's still a lot of people who are stressed. Sometimes we're trying to pay our bills. Sometimes we're working two or three jobs just to try to make ends meet. So yes, we all know how stressful it can be. But try to find the joy. Because if there's ever a place where we should be able to find joy, it's right here in Hawaii. So my friends, do what you can be friendly, be happy to all those around you, and remember that your laughter can be contagious, so share it as much as possible. So I bid you laughter, and I hope everything goes well with the rest of the year, and stay positive. Thank you.